Hey everyone, yeah, my hair is getting a little long at the tooth here, gonna need to trim her up eventually here and get it restyled up. I tried putting it up today, it didn't work, whatever, nobody cares about that. What you are here about is GameStop, <laughs> yeah, because GameStop has two new, currently unannounced Switch games appearing in their back-end system, and uh, this is very, very interesting for a number of reasons, but before I get into it, we are giving away a $99 Nintendo Switch eShop gift card. That's right, practically a $100 card. To enter, head down to the description or the pinned comment. And it's not $100 exactly because for some reason Nintendo made it a $99 card, not $100. Whatever. Let's talk about where this information came from. So uh, I originally found it by the pop popular uh, source for Pokemon Leaks, Centro pokemon leaks or otherwise known as central leaks there's multiple languages uh, and multiple accounts for uh this place but they have you know ninety four thousand people or so following the english account and they're really uh well known for sharing a lot of pokemon leaks they have their own sources and when they post information from their primary sources uh they have been correct uh when they use secondary sources or they they're sharing information from other popular pokemon leakers like kelios fr uh, obviously that's not really credited to them and they even note when it's like a secondary leaker that they're not really sure but this is not really about pokemon per se although it could be because there's been a lot of thoughts and uh stuff out there that we are going to see a bunch of Pokemon stuff uh, leading up to the 27th, a.k.a. the 25th anniversary of Pokemon. Uh, and part of what we are presumed to have know that's coming are another set of remakes for this year. Uh, probably Diamond and Pearl seems to be the popular uh, leaked process here. But they are the source on this because they are the ones that, po that posted out there um, that GameStop has two SKUs currently listed for Nintendo Switch for $59.99 that are untitled. They were recently added as of yesterday. Now, when this happens, and this happens all the time at GameStop, what this is is placeholders for unannounced games. So they used to accidentally put the name of the game in there because GameStop already knows what the games are ahead of time because they are preparing to take pre-orders. But they stopped doing that in the, ever since they updated the, the back-end system. And instead, the screenshot you're seeing now is just strictly showing available SKU on the Nintendo Switch. And you'll see two of them, ETA, unknown, unknown, $59.99, brand new. Uh, and we don't really know uh, when this is going to come, when this is going to happen, when, when we're going to be able to do much about it. Now, there's some interesting things with this screenshot. Uh, as you look at it, you'll notice that obviously you see Mario Party. We presume that's Super Mario Party, where it says nine in stock and one pre-ordered. I don't know uh, if that pre-order thing is, I, I believe, their automatic uh, listing for when someone makes a purchase online to come pick it up. It means that it's been basically pre-purchased and need to come pick it up because obviously they wouldn't have a pre-order plus have nine in stock. That wouldn't make any sense. Uh, so clearly, that is just someone who purchased online is coming for an in-store pickup, uh, and they don't have any in stock of the pre-owned there. Uh, so, yeah, I, I find this to be absolutely interesting, and these kind of leaks from GameStop come out all the time because you have an employee that's just kind of randomly going through the system, looking at upcoming games, upcoming pre-orders, and all of a sudden they'll notice, holy crap, there's some new SKUs in here that we don't have, that we don't have a name for, and that means there's a couple big unannounced games. And we're calling them big unannounced games because it's $59.99, which is that premium price tag for typically AAA games. Now, again, two SKUs, kind of easy to believe. We're talking about the Pokemon games, right? The new Pokemon games that are supposed to be announced this week. Uh, it would make a lot of sense if that's what it is. And GameStop's just preparing uh, to take those pre-orders. So basically... It's dropped. Go get your pre-order in right away. That's why these SKUs are there. That is the popular thought process. Central Leaks does note uh, in their tweet uh, that they don't know that this is actually Pokemon related. Uh, it could be anything. Literally anything. Who knows? Uh, there's now thoughts out there about Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 because Nintendo of America has been kind of doing this little tweeting 
uh, back and forth thing with the Tony Hawk account and referencing Crash Bandicoot. And like, it definitely looks like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2, those remastered games, are going to end up coming to Switch uh, probably this summer, I would presume. Uh, and there'll be some sort of announcement coming up that Nintendo and the Tony Hawk Twitter are just kind of teasing back and forth. But that I, those games aren't fifty nine ninety nine, and I just don't see them releasing it at an oh, even higher price tag on Switch. I know this has, it has happened. We've called it the Switch tax in the past, but I just don't foresee that being what's happening here. Now, some people might hope that these are potential placeholder SKUs for uh, Zelda games. Now, these are have been confirmed. I talked to a uh, manager at uh, a GameStop that I'm friends with, and he did go in the system and confirm that these are not uh, empty SKUs for Skyward Sword HD. Skyward Sword HD has its own SKU that are already taking pre-orders for it. Uh, these two empty SKUs are still empty in his system. So I don't know what these are. He doesn't know what they are either. And he, and he told me, honestly, it's the people updating the system probably know what these games are. But the managers aren't the one updating the system, so they don't even know what these games are. He says it, it does make sense uh, for it to be Pokemon, but it could be anything. Some people might hope it's Zelda games because we just had Zelda's 35th anniversary. I doubt we're getting anything Zelda announced this week. doesn't really make sense. would kind of overlap with Pokemon's 25th anniversary. Nintendo is still celebrating Mario's 35th anniversary. Technically, there is a, the final leg of Mario's celebration happens this week because I think on Thursday, I believe, is when all the new Mario content is dropping in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So I don't think it's going to be Zelda-related. I don't think it's going to be Mario-related. I think we already have all the Mario announcements we're going to get for now. I do think an Odyssey 2 or some other major Mario game is in the works, although... Starting to think we might not hear about that till 2022, which is interesting because if Breath of the Wild is delayed into early 2022, uh, that would be really interesting to see Breath of the Wild 2, Splatoon 3, and potentially Mario Odyssey 2 basically repeating 2017 uh, in 2022. That would be a very interesting historical thing to happen. But uh, I, as for what these SKUs are, I'm obviously going to lean towards Pokemon because we know we're getting Pokemon announcements this week at some point. I know nothing's been technically announced by the pokemon team however they did say there would be announcements this week for pokemon they just didn't really say what those announcements are going to be so we, we've seen a few things kind of go out there some merchandise and stuff like that that some other uh merch providers out there have kind of jumped the gun and been like hey for the 25th we got you know this and that but uh we haven't heard the pokemon company really come out and say anything yet we presume there's gonna be a pokemon direct or if they don't call it a pokemon direct a pokemon event or live stream or something well they'll talk about all this stuff but so, I'm guessing Pokemon. I don't really know what else it could be. $59.99. Obviously, it could be, you know, a third-party game, a triple-A third-party game uh, that we're unaware of. Two of them, maybe, coming to Switch. But the fact that SKUs appear at the same time makes it feel like Pokemon. So, for now, I'm going to treat this as if it's Pokemon. Just like Central Leaks is kind of like, hey, like, we don't know that this is Pokemon. But, I mean, it's probably Pokemon. <laughs> Um, it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense for, for anything else. So we've already expected, you know, either Diamond and Pearl remakes or something announced, uh, this year for Pokemon beyond new Pokemon Snap. So we'll just have to wait and see, uh, what happens until then. I will take your guesses down below. Obviously the obvious is obvious Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remakes, but are there different games you think they could be from the Pokemon franchise? You know, maybe we're getting a new Mystery Dungeon game for $69.99. Maybe we're getting... Uh, I have no idea. It, it, I mean, they don't have to be those remakes. There could be other different types of Pokemon games. Uh, it could be AAA games. It could be maybe Nintendo's got a couple of announcements. Just because they did a Nintendo Direct doesn't mean they're going to stop announcing games through social media. So, we have to consider that as well. And obviously, there's always any sort of third-party game. Uh, that could be coming over. So you guys let me know. Otherwise, I'm Nathaniel RoboJets from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, and if you made it this far in the video, why not drop a like and subscribe? I would greatly appreciate that as we're on our road to 70K and then eventually 100. Catch you guys in the next video.